The reports that a Keyfong has been sighted leaving the old forest. Keyfong? What's that? What's a Keyfong? A beast with the body of an enormous golden cat, a sharp beak and spikes on its back. Eek! Several disappearances south from Kawaris are already thought to be the work of this creature. What do we do now? Should we send hunters? The traditional policy on stray beasts is to hope that they return to the forest and stay there. Hunters are no match for such a creature. It would only make it angry and waste more lives. So we just let it eat people? Everyone dies in the end. Well, great. Also, there's a letter for you. Talar is the Duke of Sinan will be arriving next week to an official visit. Oh god! Uh, okay, we need to get more cheer for them. But we are awfully depressed now. Attend the service. You attend the service in the castle group, and then the peace of the ritual calm your heart. Well, what are we going to do? Well, we can't work on our father or court manners at all. Let's work on the divination and swords. That's a weird combination, but what are we supposed to do? I'm not doing very well as far as affecting my skills go. So what, what did I want to do? Swords and... oh! Divination. So, you read about well known signs of bad fortune wells turning sour, dry widening, strange fish caught in nets, malformed babies being born, and so on. In practice, using your blade to disarm opponents or shove them backwards. Your skill in swords is now 50. You may not increase the skill until your other weapon skills are 25 or higher. Okay. Tavares, Duke of Sedna. Ah, your highness, what a pleasure is to meet you in person at last. Your description did not do you justice. God damn it! I don't know how to deal with handsome older men paying me compliments. I was so pleased to hear that you had accepted my humble offering, a jewel for a jewel, but you are the more precious. I hope that this is only the beginning of a mutual beneficial relationship, a union between us would bring stability to both our peoples. Heroa does want to marry me. Decline. I need to let him down gently. I am not marrying you. I'm only 14. God damn it. That may have not been gentle. I see. I regret the misunderstanding. Okay, let's attend the service. And hope for the best. Okay, it seems like that's working. Uh, flexibility or well, flexibility and no, Novan and foreign affairs that might be very important for us. So. No individual may hold more than one dukedom, but nobles seek noble spouses, so titles often come together before being parceled out to heirs. Your father is a Duke of Kavoris, and his brother is a Duke of Mzomba. Bryn, Duchess of Hellas, is a sister of Banyan, Duke of Marie, and so on. Uh, Tungula, to the north, underwent a peasant revolution shortly after you were born. The nobles either fled or were killed, and the new ruler have so far refuse to establish official diplomatic ties with Nova. While they are not friendly, neither are they enemies, at least not yet. You are requested to stand in judgment. A woman has been convicted of attempted murder and request the mercy of the crown. Your Kevon, Era of I Your Highness, the slaughter dares to beg pardon when she admits that she tried to poison my sister under her own roof. Which sister? Coruscant of the Duchess of Mayod. Is she alright? She's unharmed. We caught the culprit in the kitchens before anyone could eat her foul spoon. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? It's just as it is. Them devils killed me brother and broke me ma'am's heart. Like you or they did when she went to see why he'd not come back. 
said he'd gone for a soldier when he never would. He weren't the only one neither. I waited ten years for my chance to get my own back. That's justice. You see, she's completely unrepentant. Hang her and be done with it. I don't know what to do with all this. Either way, murder is a serious crime, but... Put her to work, imprison her, or execute her. Let's imprison her. You have tried to murder a noble of my domain, and I have no reason to believe you wouldn't do it again. You will be imprisoned for the rest of your life. You will not have me. All of a sudden, she breaks loose from her guards and rushes at you. In your court dress, you are on her arm. You grope for a weapon and find on a heavy golden ornament which you hurl into the direction. Archer failed. Your missile flies wild at this mark. Before you have a chance to do anything else, your personal guards step into action, cutting the woman down before she can endanger you. Her lifeless body lies bleeding on your carpet. Clean that up. <laughs> well, fuck. Um. I don't want to get more yielding, to be honest. Or lonely. So let's just attend the service. So yes, now we can work on our skills here. I think court manners... You know what? Court manners too. Uh, do we get a bonus? Uh, actually, we don't. Let's go with... I'm thinking... Flexibility and court manners because we're not getting a bonus, so... Or maybe... Oh, we're getting intellectual bonuses, so let's go with Novan and Foreign Affairs again. Arisa, Duchess of Lilla, is the mother of the Duchess of Meat, the mother-in-law of Duke of Kigal, and the stepmother of the future Duke of Eland. People sometimes call her Nova's Eastern Queen. The Duchess of Sudbury is currently held in regency by Countess Lieke of this for her daughter Gwenewa, who is your age. She inherited the Duchess last year upon the death of her father. Okay, we cannot increase it, I, I understand. And southeast lies the domain of Talasa, with which we have enjoyed fairly cordial relations. Sedna, their chief province, borders the Novan Duchy of Ella, and nobles from the two provinces have been known to intermarry. Oh, oh, that would have been good to know. The Duchy of Ella was not part of the pre imperial Nova domain, but the western range of the Yevef nomads. A faction of Yevania who wished to settle. Offered their allegiance willingly to an over queen, and their chief was named the Duke. As you are walking one day in the gardens, you hear a strange sound and look up to see an owl flying overhead. A single dry leaf flutters in its talons. That's funny, I thought owls were nocturnal, I guess I was wrong. When you return to the castle, your father is waiting for them. I should have. Divination. We fail at everything. There's a woman here to see you. She wishes, she wishes crowdfunding for a project. Thank you for seeing me, Royal Highness. I come to you on behalf of the people. I wish to build a hospital where any citizen afflicted with disease can be brought for treatment. Bring all the sick people together. I will let them die even faster. We are not in STAM! Come on, game! Throw me a bone! Minus one angry. No. Okay, I guess if I want cheerful, I'll have to have yielding thingy. Damn. Okay, you spend the weekend up. What's up with that's doing to us? Okay, history is done. We could look into the world history, but and let's go let's go with divination and world. Okay, so world history and divination. So
So, you look at a globe of the world, reading names of places so distant you can't remember even hearing about them, and other areas left blank because no explorer venturing there has ever returned. You read about the western continent, Chiavar, where civilizations flourished so long ago that the ancestral novans were still living in caves. No one knows what became of them, the population vanished without the trace, leaving only their enormous stone buildings. And Divination Crystal 50. You read about signs that have pres presaged famous disasters, such as the seas running red before the doom shadow fell upon Nova 200 years ago. You read about King Latimer and how he knew he was destined for greatness when he saw the shape of a crown in the spider's web. Remember that the festival of the Good Lady is approaching. There will be public celebrations for commoners, followed by a grand gala for the nobility. As a queen, you would be expected to lead a procession and take part in the ceremonial planting, possibly give a speech. But since you are not yet crowned, it is not required and it may not be safe to expose you to the public. What do you mean, not safe? Outside of the castle, there are, you, are well, you are less well protected. If anyone means you harm, think of it. Think on it now. Decide later. There is a letter for you as well. It's from Barney. I went to school with her, but she's a couple years older than me. Her mother is a duchess. She's complaining that her mother still won't let her come home for the holidays. Apparently, her uncle Kevin has been acting strange lately and shouting at shadows. She's bored and looking for an adventure. Well, I don't have anything to suggest to her. Kevin's on mood. Uh. I don't want yielding, although I'm afraid. Yielding, well, chiefly. Yielding means we don't get anything to do with weapons, but. Um. No, chiefly. Okay, let's do it again. I really need to up my skills. And it's not helping, damn! Well, but the intellectual history is awesomely increased. Mm -hmm. We might want to go a bit with the public speaking. Wait, what's our mood? So we'll probably need pressure for this. Pressure, okay. So let's go with we'll need that public speaking soon, so public speaking and the world history. So you practice tongue twisting sentences of syllables to improve your enunciation and in the wow twenty one in the distant past, the Yevani tribes to the east rode great beasts with spines and tentacles on their heads instead of horses. The bones of these creatures are sometimes found in Lila and Mead, and their tusks are valuable to crafters. You read about the northern continent, Borealis, where the first lumens in history were recorded, and how the discovery of magic shaped their development. You have unlocked a new outfit, really. Today is the procession and planting for the festival of Ticket Lady. Will you be leading a parade? If you have any concerns about your safety, please stay here. People will recover from this appointment. If you lose you, there is no recovery. I will lead. I am not afraid. I'm going to be the best parade leader ever, my little girl. You prepare your best gown for the occasion, then walk slowly through the town with your attendants. It would not be appropriate for you to wear a sword, but you do walk with a sturdy golden scepter that's taller than you are. Uh, at the end of the route, you help the priestesses turn over the earth for the new tree to be planted. Then the new wife is blessed and all attendants join in song. The procession regroups to return to the castle. Cool, nothing bad happened. Pressure. Uh, something gave us the pressure to scale. This one. Or this one cheerful. Actually, there's nothing I would like. Lonely and cheerful. Plus one angry. 
Let's go with plus one angry. You take the court for a few games of tennis. So now, yes, we are starting to get the conversation going. Uh, but the my man, let's check the outfit. What can we think? Boarding school uniform, scholar gowns, boost history. Nice. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it does. So I might go with world now, and a bit of court manners, I guess. Maybe no one. No, let's go with world. So you review, review the correct greetings for guests according to rank, and uh, when to extend your hand to another. All nobles expect their due honors. And you read about the Hundred Year War, which left much of Borealis uninhabitable and created a power vacuum which would eventually be filled with the growing power of Nova. Borealis now is mostly made up of tiny domains containing no more than a few village like settlements each, officially ruled over by shamanic lumens. They have few resources and with primarily from the seas. 